Yeah, so it's been really fun. So we've um, we've partnered actually with a company up um, up here called the Apple Ridge Group, who are kind of big construction company, do precast concrete. And I think for me, it's about learning from people. So we work with Billy Lamb a lot. So he has been in the industry, say, 30 years. He understands concrete better than anyone else I've ever known the industry. And we're using his social capital to get access to the industry. So I know that I'm young. I know that my ideas are crazy and I know that I'm a woman. So how do we get over that? We use someone else's social capital to open the doors because we don't have time mm-hmm. to, we can argue, we can sit here all day and discuss how, whether that's right or wrong and whether the industry should change, but we don't have time and we need to do stuff quicker. So let's play by the rules, but also disrupt what we need to, to get to our mission reductions. Um, so yeah, I've been learning a lot. I've always loved learning. So I think that's the great thing is pushing yourself and being like, how do we be better? And always kind of having this vision of how we do things and what we want to achieve. I think a lot of people look at entrepreneurship and think, well, that's that's for the wealthy. I personally don't have, you know, I'm not independently wealthy. So therefore, I, I couldn't start a company. What, how would I pay my bills? How would I how would I feed my kids? Um, that kind of thing. I don't know what you'd say to, to those people. Oh, yeah, I think um, I think this all the time. So I love the stories of where they're like, oh, my dad gave me three hundred thousand dollars to do the start startup. And I'm like, oh, so you did an angel round. And they're like, oh, no, no, you know, we bootstrapped. And you're like, no, you didn't. That doesn't count. Like, I, and, <laughs> and like, it's it's really great to be in that position. But we weren't in that position. So we applied for grants. You'd be as surprised how much free money there is out there. So I think and I think I really understand the fear that it must be like I don't have children I don't have like the worry of the I do have the worry of the mortgage but um like I don't have that kind of oh what happens if not but I would say that you can do it part-time you don't have to give up all your jobs I think people who say that you have to give up your job before it's kicked off um like you said are have that privilege of being comfortable I think you can do it part-time I think you can do it with different things I think there's so many ways to become an entrepreneur. Um, Even if it's not starting your own company and it's joining a startup, even if it's looking at the grant funding that's available. Like we got our first break with um, Ignite in Belfast, which was 10,000 pounds, which allowed us to go and play. And for me, like that gave me the push to be like, oh, well, you you can afford to maybe not get paid as much or at all, but um, you can afford to keep going and you get to see that come alive. I, I think personally, I think that's that's part of it is being able to keep your outgoings low, um, because it, it's so tempting every time you get a pay rise to then in, inflate your your quality of of, of life, um, or not your quality of life, your your outgoings. You know, they're, they're 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 not linked, are they? You know, I know people who who hardly spend anything, but they have an amazing quality of life, and vice versa. I know people who've been contractors their whole lives, earning many hundreds of pounds every day and still don't have a house or anything to so that they're, they're not linked but one thing i think that is linked is that if you, if you can afford to live on a bit less than than your peers then you're that that opens up so much freedom so much possibility for the for the future i think you have to be really passionate about your idea you have to really love it because it's hard you have to be like i'm in love with concrete and you have to be because like it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. There's going to be times when you're just like, oh, I'm done. I'm done. I can't do this anymore. But you have to have that kind of vision and love for the thing because you, yeah. do, you do give up a lot. Like we can all pretend that it's great and you get to be your own boss, but you do have to give up a lot to make a company work. And I think that's where you've really got to dig deep and find the thing that even if it doesn't work, you're going to have loved the ride, that you're going to have enjoyed it and it's going to be fun.